Ayatul Kursi is made up of nine sentences. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayyul qayyum, number one. La ta'khuduhu sinatun wa la nawm, number two. Lahu ma fis samawati wa ma fil ard, number three. What's number four? Man dhal ladhi yashfa'u indahu illa bi idhnihi, that's number four. Ya'lamu ma bayna aydihim wa ma khalfahum, number five. Then, وَلَا يُحِيطُونَ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنْ عِلْمِ إِلَّا بِمَا شَاءٍ Number six. Then, وَسِعَ كُرْسِيُّهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Number seven. وَلَا يَأُودُهُ حِفْظُهُمَا Number eight. وَهُوَ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمُ Number nine. Nine sentences. The first sentence is Allah لَا إِلَهَا إِلَّا هُوَ الْحَيُّ الْقَيُّمُ It's a beautiful sentence which ends with two of Allah's names. What are those two names? Al-Hay, Al-Qayyum The living and the source of all establishment Everything stands and exists and is maintained because of Allah What's incredible is that the last sentence Sentence number one Has something in common with sentence number nine Which is وَهُوَ الْعَلِيُّ Azim. How many names of Allah in the, in the last sentence? Two names of Allah in the first sentence Two names of Allah in the last sentence Okay before I go to the second sentence, let me tell you something about security. Security guards have a very hard job. But if you get a secure, you know, if you're in security, you have to stand, sit in your booth, you have to stare at the CCTV for hours and hours. And does it move? It's the same picture. And you have to look at it for 12 hours, 8 hours. What tends to happen when you're guarding something? You tend to get sleepy, you tend to get tired. Allah Azza wa Jal says about Himself, لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم. Drowsiness. Drowsiness happens when you're tired. And of course, what happens after that? What's the next step? Noom. This is the second sentence. The second sentence is: These are things that creation has. Creation gets tired and it starts getting drowsy, and eventually it falls to sleep. What was the second last sentence? وَلَا يَؤُودُهُ حِفْضُهُمَا Guarding the skies and the earth does not exhaust Allah. When someone's exhausted, what do they get? Sina and Noam. The second sentence is actually connected to the second last sentence. لَا تَأْخُذُهُ سِنَةٌ وَلَا نَوْمٌ وَلَا يَؤُودُهُ حِفْضُهُمَا He says, لَهُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ He owns Whatever is in the sky and the earth. Now before I tell you further, you need to understand the difference between two words, two names of Allah. Malik and Malik.